Hey, what's going on, folks? Bill Jr. Pure Cage and Outdoors. We out here today. We're going to be trying some, some jigs out over here. We're at a public park. It is a black bear habitat. It's a public park. We're going to go and walk along these banks. See if we can't pick up on some sakale, some bluegill, things like that. We're going to be trying out some sakale heathens jigs. Sakaleheathens.com. Y'all go check them out. Uh, Cajun 15. Get your discount on them. We got the jigging rod with us. 10 foot rod. That's what we're going to be throwing today. And we're going to sit there and see if we can't find some sort of fish. We got a bunch of rain coming through. But we got the big rod with us. Let's go. Let's see what we got over here. No hunting. Butterfly migration, no parking. We're just gonna go and bounce along here. We may catch some sockeys, some different types of bluegill. Not really planning on keeping nothing unless I start catching some good slabs. So we'll see. Y'all stay tuned. South Louisiana, baby, that's what we out here for. All right, <clears throat> so as y'all can see, we got a little small peg float right here. A little small one. We got about three foot underneath the cart. That is a Sokolay Heathens uh, grass shrimp reaper shad. Got a little nibble on it, loop knot. Got an orange 124th jig head. We're going to just walk along here and toss along the edge of them grass we was fishing here a while back and <clears throat> we was uh we caught some fish but it got dark on us so i did not hang around super long mosquitoes was terrible let's give it a shot though it's a little windy for if i'm gonna be throwing out there because i know we can fish four foot right off the edge of this grass right here which isn't far maybe eight nine foot i know this wind's probably blowing in your ear but i apologize but i was fishing four foot right off these grass right here and they were still coming up and hitting so it's fairly deep right off the edge i don't know what it does out there does it continue to slope get real deep does it stay four foot i really don't know all right next up we're gonna try some of these monkey milks right here from sakale heathen get us a fresh one on there let's see what we're gonna do got us a fresh monkey milk on that orange head Tip it with a soccer little nibble. There y'all go right here. Fresh monkey milk, orange head. Let's put him out there and see what he's gonna do. Let's see if monkey milk is gonna do the trick or not. All right, y'all. We got the first fish. Finally, it's been a while on that monkey milk. Nice bluegill. There y'all go. Check that out. Monkey milk. Socolateheathen.com. Get him back in now. I'm about three foot deep right here. I came back, actually, I just uh, was over there. I came walk back right here, and that was the first cast back. Let's just sit down and see. Right here on the grass, Matt, we'll see. I would much rather catch bigger. That wasn't a bad size for live bait if I was here trying to get some live bait for some catfish. It's actually a really good size, but we'll see. Like I said, I'm still kind of trying to find where the soccer are hiding at. 
That'd be nice. Cause this is a very popular pond for soccer league. A lot of people come here. Some people do real good here. So I kind of want to sit down and see. There we go. Monkey milk. Much nicer bluegill that time. Let's get him up. Yeah, that's a much nicer bluegill right there, yo. Sockele heating monkey milk. That was the second cage right here. God, look at the size of this chicken pen, y'all. Right here on that Sockele heating monkey milk. Now that is a chicken pen and a half. Let me get him up here, try not to break my line. I only got four pound test. I mean, he slammed this as soon as it hit the water. Look at the size of this thing. And y'all know I got pretty big hands. Monkey milk. Let's see. I'm gonna try to get him in my hand. Y'all look at the size of this thing, man. Look at the size of this chicken pen. He slammed that monkey milk, y'all. Check that out, y'all. Socolateheatings.com, Cajun 15. I mean, he devoured that thing, y'all. This is a huge chicken pen. Whew. That's what we gonna try to catch. Right here off these lilies. We'll sit down and see if they don't have a couple more. We finally got us a sockele, y'all. Right there on that sockele, heathen monkey milk. There we go, y'all. All right, y'all. I think we got us another sockele. Oh, yeah. Nice sockele monkey milk. Let's go. It's another keeper. It's a little small on the keeper side, but all things considering, he's getting kept. And all I'm doing is just kind of casting and letting the wind because the wind's coming across like this. So I'm letting the wind kind of push me right along the edge of them lilies, keeping my line in the water. And I'll pop to the right to, to kind of offset it. And they right there on that edge. Big old green sunfish on that cycle. I don't even know what color combination this one is. Now I know y'all can't see what I'm doing here, but right there is my cart. It's windy out here, so it's choppy. I'm kind of just letting it sit there and let the waves jig that jig up and down like that, kind of like on its own. And every now and then I'll, I'll give a little pop, you know, but I'm kind of just letting the water work it naturally. And uh, we're getting some hits. That's how we just caught that uh, that green sunfish just now. So we'll see. Oh, we got another nice one right here. Let's see what we got. Sockele. Sockeleheathens.com. Go get y'all some. I 
And that's what we're doing. We're just casting out there on that corner in between these two sets of lilies right there. And we're kind of letting the wind take us in this cove and they picking it up or they not. Let's see, we got us another fish right here. Another big bluegill. Boy, look at the size of this one. Big red breasted. Let's go. On this soccer lay heathen. There y'all go, another one for the cooler. That's good eating size. We got us another nice one right here, fellas. Another nice bluegill. On that soccer lay heathen, baby. This one looks like he been fighting. We'll leave him down there for right now. There we go. We got a nice soccer lay right here, boy. Stay on. There we go. I seen whenever he came up and hit it. Soccer lay heat and getting it done, baby. In the cooler. We got us another one, y'all. Pulling a little drag. What we got? What we got? Big blue gill. Let's go. Another soccer lay, folks. I there in the soccer lay zone. This sucker hit on the fall just now. What we got? Nice bluegill. I cast way out there and he hit it on the fall. I mean, I cast way out there. Let's see if that's where they went, a little bit further out. 